everybody, it's Jamie. Hi, and Gemma. From Play to Learn Preschool. Thanks for joining us on a Tuesday afternoon. Yesterday, we gave you a full tour of our classroom centers. And that's sort of what we've been doing every Monday afternoon. Go us, we've been doing it. Eight weeks in a row. I think if it's 10 weeks, we should celebrate. <laughs> Chocolate. Just because we easily get talked out of it when other things come up, like our kids get sick and all those other things. Anyway, in the video yesterday when we were showing you the different centers that we have set up as invitations to play for our preschoolers, um, we briefly touched on a pizza parlor. The dramatic play pizza parlor. And we asked, would you like to see a dedicated video just about the pizza parlor? And a bunch of you said yes. Thanks. And Gem and I are laughing because we started doing Facebook Live videos in September of 2016. So we have done this pizza parlor video. 2016, 17, 18, 19. We feel like this is the fourth time we've done this video. So if you're a frequent watcher, you can go ahead and click off. Maybe there's something better on TV. Or don't click off and help us answer the questions. Or you can help us answer the questions. So um, in some ways it feels like we don't have a lot of new ideas. <laughs> But we, the ideas that we that we used to have that were new are still good. So we're going to share them with you. And we still enjoy them. We do. So and that's why do. we They're do kids. them again. <laughs> the thing that we're going to try to do a little bit differently for this video is highlight for you some of the math and literacy skills that our students are working on while they're in dramatic play. The primary purpose of play is, of course, social, emotional skills, interaction, learning to be a good person, learning to learn how to, learning to learn how to learn. <laughs> Take one of those learns out. Learning to learn, like how do you get information? And also <laughs> language, talking to talk to talk, talk, talk. And then you can talk to talk, talk. In addition, <laughs> I don't often make you laugh like that. In addition to the social, emotional, and the language skills though, we are very intentional. Do you wanna finish this part? I don't think I can. <laughs> We are very intentional about setting out math skills in a very play-based setting and important literacy skills. So for this video, y'all, I'm, I'm sorry. gonna highlight <laughs> the math and literacy that they are learning without even recognizing it. So all the people that say, I cannot get my kids out of the dramatic play center, it's okay. Neither can we. You don't need to. <laughs> Because everything you would need is here. Okay. If you have questions about the pizza parlor as we show you around, ask them in the comments and I will try to answer. Since I was on such a roll yesterday, did you notice what happened yesterday? No. I just pushed the button and then it flipped the camera around. Oh, I did notice that. I'm going to do it again because I've got my eye on it right there. Here it goes. All right. Gemma will be the preschooler. And I think I was laughing with someone because they say it's the highlight of the video to see you try to figure it out. I don't know what that says about the rest of the video. Let me just step it up. Here goes. I'm going to do it. Watch. One time. <laughs> okay. So then I've got to get it off of my tripod. Okay. So this is our dramatic play area. Um, it's probably the biggest center area in our classroom because we think it's the most important and it's also our favorite. And so we have a standard set of kitchen furnishings, like the refrigerator and the table and chair and the babies and everything. And then this piece whoop, right there is like this storefront create station that we bought from it goes here. Constructive Playthings. You may have seen it there. But for this setup, we decided to move it to the back wall. We enclosed the inside with wrapping paper with a brick print and turn it into an oven. So let me walk you through it. Okay. Okay, should I go for it? You should do it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like our pizza pot is already open. Oh, it is. Yeah, luckily. Phew. We can just flip that well, around. I'm gonna be the preschool and the person who's said, I'll have to dash from around like I've always done. Okay, I'd like to place an order. <laughs> oh, what can I get for you? Do you ever feel like you're talking to yourself? I do, and it's like normally during my day, I feel like all I do is talk. And when I get home with my own kids too. Okay, you have to have the imaginary preschool here. Yes. Ready? Oh, would you like to have a seat at table number one? 
Indeed, so we've got all the tables, or all the tables, the two tables are numbered. We just have two in our kitchen area. We only have nine students. So table one is here, and table number two is there. Yes, so table number two is normally our math table. Yes. So we've, been caught, we've just made it a little bit, because we, you well, we don't normally around. have a lot of customers, so there aren't a lot of customers. Um, and so the, the customers then will read the menu, and it's a picture menu with words. Let me show it to you. Okay, so they can either order a slice of pizza or the whole pizza. We've got a bunch of different toppings and then some seasonings, which I'll show you in just a second. And the waiter or the waitress can write it down on these corresponding order forms. Oh, like so this. you would like a, a slice of pizza? Okay, good choice. <laughs> um, and what would you like on your pizza? Okay, peppers and onions, good choice. Okay, <laughs> would you like any seasoning? None. <laughs> undecided. <laughs> so then the students will come over here and our pizza sets are by Melissa and Doug. It comes with this pizza pan and a box. And then the parts of the pizza are the crust, there's a white and a red felt piece for the sauce. Um, and then the toppings are all over here. There are seven different toppings. This is a separate set. It's called pizza seasonings. It's oregano, parmesan, red pepper, and garlic. Look, they don't match up. Anyway, it's okay. And we put out some plastic plates and cups. We always take phone orders. And so this is the part where I wanted to highlight some of the math and reading skills that they're getting while they're over here. So the first is um, fractions. So on this pie pan, they can put four fourths One, two, to make a pizza crust. Although they only said one slice, I have to make the whole pizza. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> you don't always get what you want at this restaurant anyway. You don't always get what you want. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes it's a waiter's choice kind I of a deal. I just want to say, if you can't find this pizza set or it's too, it's like out of your budget, whatever, you can make these. It's just felt. It's just, it's just felt. felt. circles. And you could, you don't even have to make it puffy like this. You could just cut pieces out and make it into triangles. It's okay. For and sure. use a plate. So when they're um, getting these out, they're reading the labels, which is sort of like an environmental print, and right? They see the S for sauce and the sauce. CH for cheese. So everything is labeled. And then this is just a, a tip. Oh, <laughs> what what it was upside down. This is oh, just a- they get, So we stick them down, but I think they get moved. They, they this not. is just a tip for managing it. So we always label the basket. And then we also label the place where the basket goes, and then we tape them down because we've got a few kids, kids who are dumpers. Pull, some kids can still pull yep. them up. Um, but everything is should be, look at that one upside down too. <laughs> they were not upside down. I swear, I double check them. Oh, this yeah. one's fine. Mm -hmm. um, so we've labeled everything so they know where to put it away. And so that is a good literacy skill, having this match, this print has meaning. So we need four onions because I have four pieces of pizza. Oh, good counting. And I need four peppers. Nice. I think I've got four orange. Oh, orange. Yeah. I bet we don't have four orange. Oh no, then I can't do that. I have to. <laughs> do a pattern? Mm, I think, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that looks so pretty. That does look really pretty. Now, do I have everything yet? I'm going to put it in I here. think so. So then over here at the um, brick oven, this is like I said, just our storefront piece. And there, these are, um, wrapping paper pieces that come in a roll called fadeless wrapping paper we put some tea light candles that are a little led battery operated from the, dollar store. from the dollar store so they just turn them on and off my hands are green from paint and then this is a brick from our melissa and doug um, cardboard bricks a cooling rack from my kitchen upstairs and then i'll try not to burn my hands but back here on the sorry on the back of the brick, we just, oh man, I just dumped that piece on the floor. <laughs> I just taped a bunch of uh, tissue paper to the back of this brick to make it kind of look like a flaming, I'm sorry. Oh, I've messed it up trying to do this one-handed. Um, just trying to make it look like a real brick oven. <laughs> Ooh, nothing, ooh, to see here. nothing to see here. <laughs> one of the things, one of the other math elements that that's all Melissa and Doug, Brenda, everything is a Melissa and Doug set. I'll show you in just one second the box. Um, oh, yeah. Another element that we add are these sand timers. 
So when they put their pizza in, then they can choose how long the pizza has to cook. So it either cooks for five minutes, one minute, that one says three minutes, or, and that one's just a generic one. So they can pick how long their pizza has to cook. So they turn it over and then watch, and that's sort of how they learn to take turns with keeping the pizza in the oven. So when their timer goes up, they can take it out, and then they either serve it like on, look at you with your oven mitts. They <laughs> look safety first. Um, they, they either serve it on a plate over here, or if the pizza is for delivery, like we have a bunch of kids who have been playing in the blocks this week, and they keep ordering pizza for delivery, and they have it delivered over to the block center, which is just absolutely hysterical. Yes, lots of pizza places, Amanda is right, Lots of pizza places will give you small pizza boxes. So you can definitely do it yourself on this center for sure. Um, we didn't, we ended up buying three of these Melissa and Doug sets, but you absolutely could do it yourself. Someone's gonna be disappointed when they open their pizza. Only get three slices. Um, on the back of this box though, it actually shows you what it comes with. So if we squish it and we'll, so it's this pizza set and it comes with the um, crust, sauce, cheese, a pan, a box, and then all of these toppings, and it all comes together in the box, so it's super duper cute. Um, yeah, so anyway, the other things that we have to just sort of um, add to the ambiance over here, we've got some ambiance chef jackets and chef hats. We also, for um, the students who you know can't maybe decide what to do over there, we try to give them these um, role play name tags and that is a good way for them to pick a job or to sort of pick their role and it supports the students who are just learning how to pretend play like this which all, is some of our younger students. students who all want to be the chef. Everybody's so the chef. It is good for taking turns and the timers are really good for taking turns as well. So those are some of the literacy and math um, ways that we incorporate learning in play. I'm going to switch this around and tie these up. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me put my camera back. Sorry. Ah. Okay. Ta da! Whew. <laughs> Still searching for a cameraman in case you know anybody. Um, so, just to re. I'm really close. You're good. No, I'm not good. <laughs> just to reiterate some of the math skills that they get in dramatic play they are sorting. All the pieces. They're counting. We've labeled the numbers on the tables so they've got some number identification. They're doing some early fractions with the pieces in the pie and we have measurement elements over there. Uh, the timers, the sand timers is a measure of time and then there are prices also on the menus. We did not introduce money yet over to the center. Sometimes that adds a bit of chaos that we're not ready for because then they stop playing pizza and they just play cash register. cash register. But if your kids are a little bit more advanced or you're a little bit later in the school year, then that's another way to incorporate math learning in the Dramatic Play Center. And then in terms of literacy, hopefully all of our centers convey that print has meaning, right? That you can write something down and other people can understand it. Um, we have those pre-writing skills with the order forms, pre-reading skills, um, which is them like reading the menus, right? Looking at the pictures and reading what they would like. And also we try to label everything. So the environmental print is very rich over there. So for anybody who might say, when does the learning happen in your classroom? When do you teach them anything? Maybe that'll be a still frame on Facebook. <laughs> That's my face when people ask what we actually teach mm -hmm. um, or when the actual learning occurs. But do you teach them anything? When are you going to teach them how to read? When are you going to teach them their numbers and their shapes? Because there's definitely some shapes over there too. Yes, it is always better. I didn't even think of shapes. Circle onions, triangles, uh, slices of pizza. Yes, it is always better to learn it in the context of play. Mm -hmm. Always. That's what they will remember. I can assure you that if we sat down and had them color fourths on a circle on a worksheet that they will not remember it as well as they do when they play. Right? Same no, thing like sorting paper. Be upset and I don't want to 
do this? When am I going to go play? That is the other part. How many behavior problems do we have over there when they're playing? Not many. I mean, a few of I want to have a turn with this or I have one. But they have, we've, we've given them ways to be able to cope with that, to be able to, to figure out how they're going to, to work it out. We do have some, it's negotiation skills. Negotiation, which yes. is important in your life. But how many like people whining that they're done or that they don't want to be there or? We never have that. No, mm -mm. they're really engaged. And sometimes they play there the entire time mm -hmm. and that is completely a-okay. Yes. So. That's right, play yes. to learn, that's exactly that's right. That's it Kathleen, hey, you're on to us. <laughs> All right, so investigation time. I hate that, yes, I agree with you, but I hate that the word play has this connotation that it's fluff, right? But I agree, investigation time sounds so much more hmm, yeah. cognitive, um, but it's play. And I think play is, good. play is okay. Play is the way that our brains work. I think work. it's also about educating the parents that it's okay that they can play because they get all of the extra things that roll into the play. That's the whole point of the play. All of these things on the post-it notes. Because when they go to, <laughs> when they go to kindergarten, first grade, there's going to be a lot of sitting down and looking at a worksheet and They'll be better the prepared for that if they've had a couple of years to play at preschool. They should, they're little kids. They should be able to play. I'm going to post some pictures of the pizza parlor on our Facebook page a little bit later. Um, so look for those. And I will also leave a link in the video description to our pizza parlor post, an article about um, how we set up the pizza parlor dramatic play. If you have other questions, leave them in the comments and we'll hop back on and answer them later. Thank yeah. you for joining us. We hope you oh, have, I want to say oh, one thing. Yes. I'm gonna say happy birthday to my sister in case she's, she's watching. watching. I don't know. It's the she other day watching she was watching. Week. So if it, if you're watching Helen, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Helen! <laughs> Have fun playing and learning with your kids, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye.